it's actually something that only a mammal can have. So if a lizard bites you, if a chicken pecks you, no worry about rabies. But rabies is really bad. It can make you really, really sick. You might even die. The only way you get rabies is if something bites you. We're talking wild, we're talking wild animals. So the important thing is if you find anything on the ground that you do not know, don't pick it up. I tell people that wild animals, whether they're sick or not, wild means I am so going to bite you. Pets mean you can touch me. I came from the pet store, maybe from the dog pound. But you can touch me, and most of the time I won't bite you. The cool thing about pets, we get them shot so they don't get rabies. Wild animals, we don't know how to make them line up, so they don't get their rabies shots. Now with all of the animals I have here, all the animals I have at home, every fat we release gets rabies shots. I have two horses, a goat, three dogs, two cats, five flying squirrels, all under permit, 20 fruit bats, 20 educational bats, 100 in my wild colony, and a husband. <laughs> Everybody gets rabies shots. Everybody. So, it's just really important if you see something on the ground, especially if it's a mammal, and these days, even if it's not, if it's a bird, just leave it alone. Tell somebody, though. Tell somebody who's out of high school. I know some of you guys are big kids, but trust me. Tell somebody out of high school, an adult, they'll put a box over the top of it. Maybe even put something on that box to keep the cat or the dog. Because you don't want your little sister coming by. You don't want another animal coming by. With rabies, bats don't get it any more often than any other mammal. It is one in every 1,000. But on the ground, one in 10 end up being sick. All these bats you're going to meet today, except one, were found on the ground. There was nothing wrong with them. But you can't tell. Sometimes I can't tell. I get shots for rabies.